I'm alright, sorry losing my voice, so I apologize if you can't hear me if I sound horrible. No, it's okay, your accent's amazing, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's really, like, I don't have an accent, but you all have accents. Yes, so yes. <laughs> so you're, you're a specialist in time travel? Yeah, it's the only, it's the only, it's just the only thing I can do. <laughs> yeah, so, so what are the rules from, the different rules from Doctor Who to this one? Yeah, there are travel. different rules. I don't want to give too much away, but they, you know, the, their way of traveling is different. Um, it has to do with the same things. I, I think these, the fact that history can be changed and what the sorry and what the responsibility of that is is such a fascinating thing to explore. Um, uh, it's very different. Um, I, can't, I can't say too much. It's really cool. On the first day, I walked onto set to see. Uh, method of time travel. I was like a kid at Christmas. So, uh, yeah. You can talk about the ship. Oh, can I talk about the you, ship? You can talk about the ship. ship man. This ship is amazing. Like, <laughs> I'm not allowed to show you pictures. But, uh, <laughs> There's no cameras going. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the coolest set I've ever been. It's like all my childhood fantasies rolled into one. It's got. It's just huge. How's it compared to the TARDIS? Yeah, it's it's. Like the TARDIS is great, <laughs> you know, it's an iconic thing. This is very, very, it's got a very different feel and brings together like all the, it's, it's just, it's, it's, it's on a massive scale. There's, there's, there's lots of, there's lots of space to, to house these nine people who are, who are on this big journey. So, well, if you are responsible for the to, to travel in time and to change the course of story. Exactly. What would you do? Oh, if I could, I like, I just wouldn't change anything. I would go, I'd go and just like make. I'm the, I'm that person who goes to bed at night and goes, oh, I wish I'd have said that. So I'd just go and change what happened just that day. Uh, <coughs> the responsibility of changing anything before then is is far too much. I know we come back and everyone's got you know three boobs. Or <laughs> in a lot of stories, it explores this fact, like uh, there's a movie, uh, Lola Rand, a, a German movie. Right. If you change one event here, we will yeah. change a lot of events. Do you believe that? Yeah, Is absolutely. this thing explored? In yes, very much so. Very much. It's what the whole show is about, actually. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it, it gets very confusing very quickly because you change one thing and then you change another thing. You go to a future where that's all changed. So you go to the past to try to change all of that and you know whilst trying to chase a, an immortal villain it's, uh, it gets very complicated very quickly. Now Rip knows these these heroes and villains yeah. before because he's, he's from the future research. so how does he treat them like he's never met them before or does he treat them like how he knows them in the future? Um, he kind of treats them like he's I mean he's from far enough in the future to not have encountered them. Yeah you know he mean? knows of them. He knows of them. Mm -hmm. He knows what their skills are um, he doesn't quite um, realise what big personality, how difficult they're going to be. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I think his plan is thought through to a point, and then when he actually gets there, it's it's a very different kettle of fish. Will we see? I mean, your character has such a deep and rich DC mythology. Yeah. Will we see a lot of that explored, specifically like connections to other famous characters like Booster Gold? I, think, I hope so in the future. Like at the moment, it's we're very much dealing with the story. But having read some of the comic book, a lot of the comic books myself, I'm very excited to, to, to find out some of those other characters that we Is there a particular arc from DC Comics for it that you would love to just hypothetically jump into? Like, I think all the stuff from Booster Gold is great, and the, all the Vanishing Point stuff is really good. Interesting things we explore. But what I love about these shows is, um, is that they take the story somewhere new as well. And then I think it's going to be very exciting for DC fans to see where, how all these characters are going to interact together and where their story can all go to. It's, uh, it's paying homage to the past stories and also giving something new. I'm very curious. Uh, your character. They're, they've talked about this show being an anthology where each season could be a little bit different. Maybe there's a character or two that survives, new characters come in. 
but clearly you're a linchpin, your character most likely, for whatever this anthology thing could be. Yeah. So was it weird for you to sign on to something for five or seven years that could be filming in Vancouver for like the foreseeable future? Yeah, it's like, it was a big decision to make for me as a, as a human being. <laughs> uh, you know, and I have my family in England and all that. Uh, and I always said if I if I did go into a big thing over in the States and Canada, that it had to be the right thing. And I really believe that this is the right thing. So it's a big it's a big move. Uh, but I'm very I'm very excited about it. But when when you sat down with Greg and the creators, yeah. did they say to you, you know, I mean, the, because that that's their goal is the anthology thing. And did they say, well, you know, we're going to start with this, and then we sort of have ideas if the show's successful, we're going to be able to do this. Do they tease you with that information? Oh, they tease me with loads of information. So yeah, it's uh, I'm, I, I know I know little bits and bobs, but also you know, like these things always are that could all, that could all change. I think this show has the scope. To, to run and run and run in, in different ways. There's enough brilliant people in, and so many interesting characters to explore. We kind of get a taste of some of them in, uh, in some early episodes. I'm fascinated. I, like, I know what happens. We, I've only read up to episode four, so every time I get a script, I'm like, what, what are they going to put in? Because there's so much. Everyone's character has got such great depth, and they're really, they're really exploring. So I'm really excited to see where it Do we see your character pop up in some of the other CW shows before we get to Legends? <clears throat> no, no. We get to see him when he comes fresh. when he turns fresh in Legends, which is uh, which is good. We'll talk a little bit. Thanks, everyone. Oh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, with the first episode, the pilot, yeah. talk a little bit about, uh, obviously this is where you're recruiting everyone, yeah. so talk a little bit about, can you what can you tease about the recruitment process with bringing these people in? The recruitment process is quite swift, because I, I, I don't think he wants to give them very much time to, uh, to consider it. And also, for him anyway, there's very much a time pressure, uh, even though he can travel into it, there's still... Uh, he's still very much a time pressure. But he, I don't want to say too much, but he's thought through his plans with him. And, uh, I don't think he quite realizes the bunch of people that he's got together. Uh, yeah, the recruiting process is quite an interesting one. Um, and I don't think everyone's. Not everyone's happy with that. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Love. 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 Love.